Oh, don't give me this they 100%. Are presenting you know it, I know it's for not 100%. Asylum. Chris. They are not criminals. They are not doing anything really? illegal. Really? Are they breaking they the law coming here? For Chris, are they breaking the law coming here? Go no, ahead, they're Tommy. Not. That's a heated debate between Tommy Lauren, Judge Janine Pirro, and former aide to Chuck Schumer, Chris Hahn. Welcome to NERC News. I'm Nurkish. Today, we're going to take a few minutes to break down this debate, then discuss who won and why. Spoiler. It's not the guy with the picture of Barack Obama on his shelf who looks like he's high on angel dust. I know that you and many on your side of the aisle talk a lot about compassion, and I agree with you. We need to show compassion as a Christian. I believe in that as well. But where is the compassion for American citizens? Where is the compassion for legal immigrants living in this country that expect the rule of law to be followed and expect border security and border enforcement? Where's the compassion for those individuals? Tommy, that that you do unto the least of them, you do unto Christ. Oh, Chris. And we know what's happening at the Chris, border right now. About the it is law an abomination. Right now. It is an abomination. What's an abomination? Every it, time it, a judge sentences a parents to jail, is that an abomination? Is that an abomination? They make these, a choice. Uh, well, since when are people not responsible for their own actions and their own behavior? When do you bring people, children across a border they illegally? Are presenting. Oh, don't give me this. They are 100%. presenting you themselves know it, I know it's for asylum. They are not criminals. They are not doing anything really? illegal. Really? Are they breaking they the law coming here? For Chris, asylum. are they breaking the law coming here? Go no, ahead, they're Tommy. not. Uh, I notice a lot of the liberal worldview has to do with the inability to see or accept hard truths. They always seem to think that if they just manipulate or control circumstances enough, things would be different. Uh, illegal aliens are, by definition, criminals because they broke the law by entering the country illegally. Uh, this is true with any number of crimes. If you run a stop sign, if you pirated movies, if you drank beer when you were a teenager. Now, we can squabble about the severity of the crime or how to deal with it, but it doesn't seem like that's what Democrats want to do. They seem to think that if they have a yard sign that says no one is illegal, that's the end of the discussion. The thing is this, you can't have a nation without a border. We need to make sure the borders are secure. I know you're going to keep telling me that all of these individuals right. that are crossing the border are seeking asylum, but we know that that is not true. We've got 11 to 20 million illegal immigrants living well, in this country, okay. and those individuals are not seeking asylum. So we have a problem at the border. This, Don't Tommy, come to this country Tommy, me, and me, complain about Tommy, the rule of law. let me ask law. you a question. Is it right when people are seeking asylum for them to be separated from their kids? I believe first and foremost, we need to make sure we have a secure border. And of course, we need to deal with these individuals. We need oh, to make sure we question. have a streamlined process. That also starts with a wall. That starts with well, border enforcement. We can seeker? figure out who's what coming over here and why seeker? they're Should coming they over here. Given? Right now, we don't know. Oh. You know, I wish Tommy and Judge Janine would have pushed back on this guy a bit more for misinterpreting and throwing Bible verses around. But I imagine that would have derailed the conversation entirely and allowed him to cast them as some sort of closed-minded religious zealots hypocritically crafting policy or something. You know, I had no idea who this guy was prior to watching this clip, but it appears like he's crafted an entire career out of saying insane things on TV and yelling at conservative women. Stop spreading lies about what's going on in this Chris, country. I it is devastating, you. You this country. And blood is on the hand of the former guy and theorist. others who support him. You're not going to call Tucker Carlson a conspiracy theorist. That is wrong. Is. This is what the Democrats <laughs> do. They keep calling he is, us names. And you We're are. not going to put up with this. That appearance was something he's proud of, by the way. It, it was a pinned tweet on his Twitter account and it's from 2021. He also apparently has a show that no one listens to called The Aggressive Progressive, which I guess is what he calls himself. Uh, you know, nothing is worse than when liberals try to act tough because it always just boils down to yelling and throwing tantrums like a child. If this guy had any sense, he would stick to the smug elitist comedian shtick. It's easy to deflect criticism and it always seems to be a hit with liberals. But let me know what you think. Did this guy have any valid points? Did Tommy and Judge Janine handle themselves well in this debate? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!